So, just uh, trying to keep the comedy dream alive, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sets have been t- a bit few and far between, but trying to get to them. Okay. Um, I went and did the comedy commune for the first time in Ballina. Fuck yeah. That was fun. Is that what that is? Yeah. I think I've actually... Look at that. Got their shirt on got tonight. Com- comedy commune shirt. Fuck yep. yeah. Fuck yeah. Shout out Johnny. Yeah. Good bloke. Johnny, Johnny Peacock. Johnny P. He fucking... He is a good bloke. He helped me out a lot starting my own room. Yeah. Even awesome. um, I messaged him probably last week or the week before, and I just almost gave him a rundown of how the first show went. Oh, yeah? What was this for you? And I'm like... Um, oh, like he was super supportive, but it was more about the... I guess financial side of things. Oh yeah, okay. And he <coughs> helped me out a lot more from there. So yeah, cool. Now going into these other venues and shit, yeah. I know it. We can drop the hammer. Yeah, yeah, on. definitely. <laughs> I can't be like, how about I pay you to put a yeah, show yeah, on yeah. here? Mm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because yeah. yeah, fuck, that was the scariest thing at the start. Eh? I didn't want to be like, oh, I don't know, hundred bucks, and they'd yeah. be like, get the fuck yeah, like, because <laughs> I know nothing. What are you like, talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it's pretty sketchy. But it's yeah. interesting though when you think about it, because like for sure, you bringing people there is going to make them make the money. So. Yeah, that's people want to laugh and drink. Exactly. That's I guess that's one side I didn't look at it. Mm. It's just missing a bus service. Yeah, yeah. Just to get people oh, there, that's a good idea, they would yeah. actually drink more. <laughs> yeah, they a would. Bus service. They would. That'd be a sloppy drive home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Bunch of characters. Yeah, yeah. or comedy on a bus. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what are yeah you man. Uber? Um, You're right. What, what? I said we'll order you an Uber. Yeah, fuck yeah. Because <laughs> um, you you literally just got back from Melbourne, eh? Yes. I uh, went down to Melbourne International Comedy Festival with Anna Brennan. Yep. Um, I am a part of her sort of skit. I'm like a character that comes alive. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, I'm a, a real life callback, if, yeah. if you will. Um, so it was performing or just atten- attending? or? Uh, what was that, sorry? Like you went... And performed or just attended? Or? Sorry, so I went down there solely to be Anna's sound guy oh, yeah. and backup dancer. That's the part yeah. of the, the bit mm. at the end. And uh, and then I sort of just swindled my way in. Oh, nice. I'm not really established enough yet yeah, to yeah. just yeah. be like, get me on here. So Anna helped me out getting into um, uh, the Exford Hotel, yeah. which is such an iconic place. I didn't realise how iconic oh, really? it was. Dude. <laughs> and like... Everyone's been up there yeah, on yeah. that stage. They call it the bear pit. Okay. And uh, like, I went, I was went up on one of the probably quietest nights. Right. And on a Sunday, but the other nights, man, like I was there just in the back, like this place is fucking nuts. Oh really? That's sick. Just yeah. hecklers, everybody, oh, and really? um, the host of the show, Chris Franklin. Yeah, Do you know yeah. Chris Franklin? I feel like I've heard of him. So this guy is a fucking. Goat, dude. <laughs> okay. He played the bogan in Fat Pizza. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. And he has the song Bloke. Yeah, yeah. You know that song? Yeah, yeah. I literally... Fucking um, iconic. Yeah, yeah. I know the song. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. I was thinking of another song for a second there. Remember that song, uh, Nobody Likes a Bogan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember no, that? No. Nah, fuck. Popped up some for whatever reason on my feed like yeah. a couple of months ago. I'm like, I fucking remember this. <laughs> Yeah, classic, man. And yeah, it was fucking, it was incredible down in Melbourne, man. Yeah, so electric in that city. Um, so just like out of this world, like just the rooms that I was finding myself in, especially as an attendance to the festival, like, well, sorry, a worker at the festival. Yeah. Um, I was able to get it backstage at like a lot of places. You yeah, know, that's got, cool. got to shake hands with Stephen K. Amos, just like having yeah. a beer and stuff and just get wisdom off these yeah, Legends, man, and it was For amazing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, because I was fucking, I was watching along your stories, just sitting yeah. at my day job, going, "Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> serious." No, well, I was looking at everyone else's stories, like, "Fuck, I don't have any money to be here." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it took fucking two weeks off work. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Just to be down there, and I'm like, worth it. Um, f- worth it from like a, from an inspirational standpoint, yeah. mm-hmm. and just like knowing that whilst I was doing sound and tech for other shows. Um, and doing sets myself, like having in the background, like there's a hundred plus shows going on right this second. Yeah, yeah. And it was just, just yeah. throughout the city, you mean? Throughout like, the yeah, city, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so many venues. Like I was just, I probably racked up because I could get into shows for free mm. with my uh, my pass. I probably racked up like nearly 700 
eight hundred dollars worth of tickets yeah, yeah. for free. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sick. cool. Seeing like all the legends, Ross yeah. Noble. Yeah, nice. I can do you um, you you up and go up and comers, it's awesome. Did you did you sort of chat to anyone in the Melbourne scene, like become like mates with them? And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I I um yeah, would just I was basically just work yeah, using yeah. it as a networking opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Cause I guess I'm I'm just wondering like the the Exford, like you said, mm. do you reckon if it wasn't the Melbourne International Comedy Festival, it would be like our open mic rooms, like where there's maybe 10, 15 yes. people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right. in Melbourne, like, um, I was talking to a few of them, and when it's not in comedy season, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good to get up. Like, you could, like if you were decent enough mm-hmm. and pretty established, like, you could do five, anywhere b- between five and ten sets a week. Like, yeah, okay. Pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's always bars going... Um, and my friend Tova, she put me on at the Sugar Glider, which is this hole in the wall fucking bar. Oh, okay, like, probably like ten seater. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, <laughs> it's, and then like, yeah, I went up there and ate a bunch of dicks. But oh, really? Okay. It was so fun though. It was that, fun. That sounds like it'd be cool if you had ten people that wanted to fucking be there. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I bring that like Queensland energy. Mm. I only have like. Queensland jokes Right <laughs> yeah. I'm too nice I guess I Yeah yeah know. Wait you can tell The jokes By the jokes Like you think Like where someone comes from Well like A lot of the comedy Like people Down there Just like Sort of make fun of Their surroundings Yeah you know, right So that the people In the audience yeah. Can relate to it I guess And um, So I was like very. I was I was uh, Comparing Toowoomba To Frankston Okay And like Just doing random shit Like that and Yeah but it was fun, man. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. fun. That's fucking sick. And everyone gets around it, man. Yeah, everyone in the city gets around it. It's like people are like got like three tickets. Yeah, and they just go back to back to back shows. Yeah, it's oh, that's crazy. cool. Just as audience members. Yeah, because I was um I did a gig. Someone I forget who they were. I've got them on Instagram somewhere, but um they did an open mic room up here maybe six months ago. They're from Melbourne, mm. and they were telling me that yeah, like you just said, they could get on maybe three shows a night if they wanted to mm. just the way it's all set up down there you could yeah literally right. jump from here to do that here you'd have to drive from here to here i mean you probably could if you knew the right people and shit you and lined like, it up as yeah well. like, exactly i don't know some some of the bookers here i think they want you to like hang around after the show mm. yeah, yeah and like i've seen like i've never done back-to-back shows around here but yeah. i've seen people that you know do a spot and then leave and then go do another spot somewhere and then some promote like some bookers get pissed off about it. Yeah, it's like, definitely. It's I, I we brought that up a few weeks ago. Now that I was always like, do what the bookers say, so mm. they look at me nicely. But like about a month or two ago, I was like, fuck, I got like a missus and kids at home. Like, I'll do my set, and if there's none of my mates here, and I'm literally just sitting here to look out. good in your eyes, like I'm fucking, I'm out. I got to get up at three o'clock for work tomorrow. Yeah, like but also you said like here a lot of. I don't know. A lot of the time it's like you're performing to mostly other comedians, right? So then if all these yeah. other comedians leave after they've done, then you're... Yeah, that does suck. And room. some nights I do feel bad. And I, yeah. I, not but eight that's times, the risk you take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a no, yeah, yeah for, sure. <laughs> yeah. for sure. Eight times out of ten, I'll stick around till the end of a show just because I like yeah. the hang, the, I guess. And the people yeah. that are around there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but every now and then I'll just be tired as fuck and just go, I don't need to be here. I get it. I was just trying to... Like maybe play devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Side, no, yeah. I know what you mean. It's um, there's some rough nights out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's, a war zone yeah. out there. There's some rough nights. I've um, I've just taken. Uh, I sat down and worked it out. I think I've just taken the biggest break from stand up that I've had since I started. Shit. Yeah. So well, I had not from the initial start. Oh no no no. So yeah, I guess. That was an incorrect statement. Sorry, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, get it right. Uh, yeah. And I, so since I started doing it as a fucking, like, this is what I want to do. Thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I had my last gig on last Tuesday at Soul Bar, and I haven't done a gig since. Last Tuesday, as in but, not just yeah, past. Yeah, so I haven't done a gig this week, and I'm fucking feeling it. Oh, really? You, mm. you think you're going to be nervous when you get back up again? I've, I've so much shit this week. I've noticed, like... Um, I had a thing on Thursday night and I don't know why, but stand-ups just made me get more confident in mm, myself. And reach out to reach it. Yeah, it, it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But reach out to people and shit. Anyway, I had an event on Thursday night 
and the person I was going to take couldn't come anymore. So I just said to my wife, I'm like, I'll just go by myself. She's like, you can't fucking go by yourself. And I'm like, I'll be fine. And I'm like, she's like, you're not going to this by yourself. And I'm like. Is this like the going to watch movies by yourself thing? No, no, it's that dream world thing I posted. Oh, yeah. So oh. she's like. she's like, um, oh, The raffle draw. Yeah. yeah. She's like, you have to invite someone. I'm like, I don't want to reach out to anyone. I don't like, <laughs> I just fully fucking clammed back up. Should me. Yeah, yeah, I fucking should have. Hey, bro, my <laughs> yeah. said I need to go to we this. We might have won a car, you asshole. I know. Oh, fucking, I was so devo. <laughs> I, was, I, was so I entered one of those things, bro, and I was so pissed. I was three numbers off the winning number. Oh, really? Oh. Wait, so it, I was it, never going to win it. it. How does it work? I don't even understand. Because you were saying you're going to have to yeah. beat people down. So, <laughs> LMCT plus... <laughs> Fucking shout out, shout out, Adrian. Fucking what a fucking Troy dude. Candy and you see Adrian what Adrian just yeah. did, dude. He's a fucking baller. Have Adrian, you seen that? Just a little backtrack yeah. on Adrian. He's <laughs> some fucking baller motherfucker. He just yeah. craned his thirty nine million. Oh, no, he's three million dollar supercar into yes. his thirty nine. I million. did yell yeah. at okay, I saw yeah. pictures of it. I yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's fucking. He's the goat. <laughs> <laughs> he was on. He was on a yacht. Today, with Troy Candy, um, Emil Jurassic, who's fucking Queensland's, one of Queensland's biggest real estate agents, uh, the dude who invented Culture Kings, Simon Beard, and that, like, that was it, just the four of them. I love Emil, bro. He's yeah, yeah. So funny, fucking, yeah. I've messaged him a few times, and I'm like, he's not going to reply. And he messaged me back. He's like, huh? keep hustling, brother. Oh, I'm man, like, yes. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. He'll be on soon. He'll yeah. be on soon. I, I was in a, I was going for a run in Brisbane one time, and yeah. I just seen his number plate. Uh, mm. Never the, the NGU, 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 yeah. And he was like in this Bentley Metega, and I was like, had my shirt off. I was like, Emil, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what's up, brother? I was yeah. like, man, this, this guy's the goat. Just the way he talks, man. Yeah, definitely. Just makes you want to have money. <laughs> <laughs> just like. um, but anyway, yeah, he threw an event. So once a year they do. A treasure hunt. So last year is at Luna Park, and this year is at Dreamworld. And I'm like, oh, I'll just fucking apply. I'm not going to get it. And then I got an email. Wait, so you have to apply. So it's for their loyalty members. So okay. I sign up to their thing. It's like twelve bucks a yeah. month or something. They like give away two cars a week or something, like yeah. houses, blah blah blah. And I'm like, twelve bucks for that. Like, yeah, still, in I'm it. never going to win it. But still, oh, no, no, driving no, my no, car. Still in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so interesting. Cause, like someone wins it. Like just because. Yeah, sure. like, yeah, and they post the winners and shit. So they. That was another thing he posted this morning. I don't know if you saw that, but he fucked up. He gave away a $130,000 Nissan Patrol last night, like all kitted oh, out, blah, blah, blah. The software they used for the raffle glitched out and it came up with one name, but then that name vanished and it went away and get picked another winner. So that person got the car and then everyone just started messaging Adrian. They're like, mm. you're a fucking scum piece of shit, ripping people off, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he's like, fuck you guys. I've already called that first person's name that popped up. I've given him $130,000 cash to say sorry. And I've given away the patrol as well. He's yeah, like, fuck no. you guys. Yeah, no. They seem like, they seem like genuine guys. Like, yeah. $130,000 is nothing for, for him. him. Yeah. But it, it's a life changing money for yeah. that person. 100%. And fucking. He didn't have to do that. Exactly. That's it. He could have just been like, hey, cliche. Yeah, he'd have enough lawyers and shit to be like, <laughs> swindle his way out of it. But he's fucking, seems like a good bloke. Like, you see, like, the people getting shitty at Mr. Beast buying up a neighbourhood? Yeah. yeah. Fucking, I Why? don't get what the hate on Mr. Beast is. Why? I don't, I don't know. Kids Everyone fucking, fucking hates him. Bro. He's so, like, philanthropic. He gives so much money away. He gives so much to people. But yeah. Why? Yeah, I don't fucking get it. And then, then it's like, oh, you have to film to, like, give away people? It's like, no, that's how that's he the gives business. Away. That's yeah. what do you mean. How do I give, <laughs> where does this money come from? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You fucking, you listen to the dude on Rogan, and he's just like, it's the nicest dude. He's like, why do I need a nice house? Yeah. Like, shit like that. And it's like, and he's like, take yeah. my money. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to help people out. Who would have thought you'd get cancelled for like giving someone somewhere to live? Mm. Literally. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, people just want to fucking tear everyone. Yeah. Down. They're like saying like, oh, it's building a cult. Mm. Thing. Like, okay. Whatever. I mean, kind of. Yeah. But yeah, it's a positive I cult. Yeah. I yeah. Don't know. Like I'd rather my kids watch You're tricking Mr. people yeah. to be there though. It's like, you have to, Sleep with me to live in this house. <laughs> yeah. Chris D'Elia can't call. You know how yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. changed it. Yeah, he had to change it. Because he, he called his like followers super cult like a super cult. And YouTube now what like flags all his videos because it's got cult in oh, it. He's shit. changed it now. Yeah, he's changed it. He changed it twice, I think. It was something. Probably. He's, he's in the heat a lot lately. 
Yeah, anyway, fucking Dreamworld. So they hid the keys to a brand new Ranger oh. somewhere in Dreamworld. Oh, what? Yeah, so there's no. 5,000 people just standing there. Did you have to buy a ticket to get in? Nah, you Any got in for free. Ones? Nah. That, where at the start when we walked in, two people oh, were yelling at each, at each other. For you go the, get a fucking shitty key and fucking throw it somewhere. They, they bought that up at the start because at Luna Park last year they gave away a D-Max and one of the dudes that was running had a D-Max. So he's pulled his key out. He's going, oh, I found it, everyone, so people stopped looking. And he went and kept looking. They're like, if anyone fucking does that this year, you're getting kicked out. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was fucking crazy, eh? Just 5,000 people just sprinting around Dreamworld, looking under tables, looking in pot plants. That's crazy. Was it? Uh, it was in the, um, like, the you know the bananas and pyjamas maze? Yeah. No, but anyway. no, it yeah, was, so it's in the maze. Oh, it was in the maze, yeah. but it was taped up underneath, like, the fucking top part of it. <laughs> They, someone found it within like five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah, that's what he said. He's like, I fucking, I don't know how you found that. He's like, I thought we were going to have to ask Dreamworld to open later because I didn't think anyone was going to find it. That's funny. Open mm. later? Oh, so the whole thing, so it opened at five, yeah. I think. Uh, we did the treasure, In the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, we did the treasure hunt thing at six and that was done by like five past mm. six. They did the presentation, blah, 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 till maybe 6.30. And then the park was open to us all till nine o'clock. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. That's we cool. bailed because yeah. I was fucking upset. <laughs> <laughs> no, as, as I, everyone would leave. Like, gonna... I didn't. I ended up taking Nikita. My mum watched the kids. Okay. Um, that's why I had mum's car. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, but um, fucking the people behind us when it went over the loudspeaker, they're like, "Keys being found." The chick, Pissed. one of the chicks behind us, was super pissy at her boyfriend. And they had this big blow up at each other. He's like, I don't know. I don't get why you're so pissy about yeah. a car that we're never going to fucking win. And she's like, well, maybe if you were a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you were a bit yeah. faster. And what do you like, mean? Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. How many people were there, do you think? 5,000 apparently. Okay. So 2,500 members got picked and then you all got a plus one. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how many conversations. It's pretty good there. odds. One in 5,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 5, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is not too bad. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad. That's why those, like, I guess, like, they only have, like, an opening for a lot of their draws as well. Mm. Yeah. Like, they only have, like, 5,000 tickets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it seems like good odds. That's why I fucking kept my membership like active for so long. Yeah, exactly. That's what I figured. And, like, I'd be fucking stoked with it. Like, mm. they give away Lambos and shit as well, but I'd be stoked with a Ranger, like, fucking... Also, I think it's well known. You'd win it and then you fucking die in the ass paint for the insurance. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, they give it to you, like, without any finance. I don't like it's... Yeah, it's all... I get it, but then... It's hard, though, because even if you sell it, you still have to pay capital gains on it, I'm sure. Probably. I don't know. It was pretty shitty, though, because the person who won it, their car blew up, like, last week. And they... Why is that shitty? Isn't that good for no, you? So, no, it's, it, that part's good. So they <laughs> can, they came down from Harvey Bay and they're like, fuck yeah, we won the car, we can drive home. And they're like, oh, we have to do the transfers and shit. <laughs> oh, you can't take it yeah. home? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they, well, they probably hooked him up somehow. Like, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have done Like, so. oh, we were relying like, on this fucking yeah. train here. <laughs> yeah. So confident. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. I wonder what happens then. Because the car was obviously there. Like it has to car be. was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all fucking so, on display. It's like, yeah, you won the car, you can't take it home. We're taking it back now. Sorry. <laughs> no one yeah. Troy Candy's fan base. If they would have won that, they would have just been doing doughies in, yeah, in the Dream World Park. Yeah. Huh? Everyone, um, everyone, because they did a little bit of a Q&A while they're waiting for everyone to funnel through the gates. And um, every second question to Troy was like, are you going to do a skid on the way out? Mm-hmm. And he's like, if Adrian will let me, and Adrian's just shaking his head. Because yeah. like, when we left, there were cops everywhere. Yeah, they would they yeah. have to. Wherever there's Troy Candy, yeah, there were exactly. cops. Exactly. And that's what I said to my missus. I'm like, compared to some of these other meetups he does, there was not really any like Dickheads. cool cars there. Like oh, it was right. all fucking. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it was specifically because it was that well, rather than my Well, it's because it's not meets. open to like anyone. It's like you have it. You have a reason to be there for this event. Or yeah, not. maybe, but Troy Candy's followers are pretty fucking. Yeah, players. I don't he, know. push he, their way in. Do you yeah. know the best? Do you know why he's like notorious here on the Gold Coast? He had like a barbecue meetup at um, a I don't know. It was, it was like a rap place okay. before he moved his business Eye Candy up here. He had like a meetup, um, which he's been having legal battles with for the past like four years. Yeah, and. 
they basically that that side road along the highway yeah. in Helensvale. He just tore that like he didn't specifically tear that place up, but all of his friends <laughs> tore yeah. that place up. Right. All of the like basically all the HSV owners on the Gold Coast were just there, mm. busting tires, motorbikes, yeah. and then all the people were like blocking the cops from like yeah, and mm. then. Yeah, yeah, because I, yeah, I know he used to go on Instagram live heaps and just be like, "Who's ripping skids tonight?" <laughs> and then people he'd add people to the chat, and it'd just be them ripping a skid with their arm out the window, <laughs> just recording. And the co- I think the cops jumped on him pretty quick for, for sure, that. Dude. But but yeah, he's fucking. But he didn't like. I get it, but also he didn't do it. Yeah, but he's promoting it, I guess. Like going on the internet and going, "Who's going to rip a skid?" He's got a burnout cult. Yeah, 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 he, yeah he's yeah. the Mr. Beast of I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, but I also <laughs> like... Mr. Beast of Commodores. <laughs> Commodores. Um, but same deal with him. Fucking, did you see the cops raid his house like a year yeah. ago? That yeah, was yeah. fucked up. That is fucked his up. His missus and kid and she were home and they just barged his door down because someone said he had drugs in there. And the only thing they found was fucking one sleeve of um, pain medication right. yeah. that his mate left there. I don't know. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. It's fuck like yeah I don't know anyway shout out Troy Candy shout out Troy Candy uh, he's, he uh, should come on the show brother yeah I fucking <laughs> look it can't get any worse yeah yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> now nah, he said um, build up the follower base a little bit more and he might come on no shit I got really yeah. okay cool <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah cool <laughs> yeah so <Matt. laughs> so anyone that's listening fucking share and follow yeah right, we'll get Troy Candy in here like, have you come on and we'll build, build up the follower base. yeah yeah <laughs> build a campaign fucking oh yeah. Um, but yeah, how long have you been doing comedy now? Um, well, I started, my first ever gig was the Raw Comedy Festival, Raw Comedy Competition, um, 2020. Holy shit, yeah, right. February of 2020. Um, and then, obviously, the pandemic wasn't getting up. I didn't yeah. get up for probably like 18 months after that. Yeah, okay. okay. And how, then, had hard than pain. How'd you find, like, Raw being your first one? Because that... Oh, yeah, you oh, talked about that, that some people was, do that. Yeah. Like, I was unaware. Oh, you were yeah, unaware? You just thought that was like an op- like open mic? That's I was just started. scrolling through Instagram and yep. then a sponsored ad came up that said open mic comedy competition. Yeah. I went, sign up. Yeah. And before, like, because I was like, in bed going to sleep. And then... <laughs> this is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm just going to do it. And then I was like, and then I got the notification to say that your like booking has been confirmed or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, Oh shit! Oh, so yeah, like you had no material, no anything zero. Oh really? Zero material. Did you anything. know you wanted to give it a go though, or was it a spur of the moment? Um, I've always, I've always been a performer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been dancing like since I was like four. Yeah, yeah. That was another um, little gem I didn't know. Yeah, I yeah. Um, posting these fucking videos. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a gun dancer. I yeah, yeah. Say. Yeah, I tear it up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but but I've been I've been performing. Yeah. <laughs> He's laughing. Because <laughs> I was just thinking in my head, I used to think that at high school as well, but I couldn't fucking dance. <laughs> no, 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 we we were like nas- we're like national uh, like second places. Nice, That's sick. Yeah, 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 really cool. Um, but yeah, just always. You said we, so in a group. Yeah, so I did I did a lot of things. I studied dancing in school, um, and I was like my house speaker for my, you know how like you have. Um, your sports clubs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your sports houses in, in school. Yeah. I was part of the uh, the Freeman, um, Kathy. Like, I'm named after Kathy, Kathy Freeman. Yeah, okay. so I was part of the Freeman group, which was yellow, and I was up the front, like yelling, like war cries, yeah, yeah, and shit like that. And that's sick. Like, I remember the first time I ever bombed. <laughs> I was like trying to spell out Freeman. F R E E, and then like I fucking fucked it up. Just misspelled it. E, 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 e. <laughs> I misspelled it, and I was like, "Wait!" Uh. And everyone started laughing. I was like, "Ah!" Oh. And I was like, and then I look back on that every time I bomb. Yeah, I'm like, it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, 100%. fucking suck it up. But yeah, been doing comedy. For, I reckon I've done about fifty sets. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, man. It's good fun. That's sick. Um. What's your fucking speaking about bombing? What do you reckon your worst bomb is? Do you remember what? Do you have bomb. one scarred in your brain? Because I've got one night that I just can't really. Well, my shake. first, I need to hear about my first night look, at the at Raw. Oh, at yeah, that, really? for sure that would have to at be sit down. Yeah, yeah. I um so at the back, Felix. Yeah. Shout out, Felix, legend. Uh, he specifically says not to point out the lights. He's yeah. like, if you if it's your first time, do not point out how bright it is up there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I fucking get up there. I get through all my material <laughs> in, like a minute, in like a minute and a half. Okay, and, and 
And I'm like, fuck shit. Legit a minute and a half? Legit a minute and a half. Fuck. I was up there for a whole two minutes and 45 seconds. Because you were speeding through or was it like... Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, and then I like miss miss said some things. Yeah. Yeah. Miss, like left a lot of tags out. And then I was like, shit. Scary up here. And I could hear my breath. <laughs> I can hear my breath in the mic. It's, yeah, it's crazy the things you know to say. Yeah. Like hear your breath. That's such a crazy yeah. statement. And then and then I was like, fuck, it's bright up here. Oh wait. He told me not to tell you that. And like that was meant to be a joke. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop wasting your guys' time. I'll see you later. And then the MC, uh, who was it? MC was I can't remember his name. But he he like he, as you as I he came out the curtains and I shook his hand. He's like, "You all right, mate?" I was like, oh, "I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll be back." Walked out there and I just like. I wonder if you looked pale or something. Yeah, like yeah. you got pale. Like, I was sweating. Yeah, yeah. I was sweating. <laughs> oh, <fair. laughs> I mean, in fairness, those lights are hot on this. On yeah. The sit down and then I was like, sort of just like standing there by myself. Right. No, I didn't know anyone there. Yeah. Oh, man. Just like standing oh. there in front of people that were trying to watch the show too. Mm. So I was just like. <laughs> oh, she's like yeah. laughing and then but yeah no nah, plenty of those nights yeah yeah but that one in particular yeah is sticks yeah sticks Fuck yeah but i love it man i love bombing for some I, reason i like i feel like i feel a sense of happiness yeah. when i do get a few laughs but yeah. when i bomb it's like the best drive home yeah because i'm like okay fucking just don't do that and then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'd be right. These days, I don't mind it, and only because it makes me desensitize a bit, yeah. a little bit. And mm-hmm. it also on stage, it makes me go, "Well, my material's not working, so let's branch off." And I'll literally go, like, start talking to the crowd in whatever way I can. Like Absolutely, it's, it's not fucking perfect crowd work Absolutely. yet, but at least it's like I've got nothing to lose. Yeah, like, yeah. I can I can do my stale five minutes, and just you guys aren't going to laugh anyway. Or I can have a crack here and exactly try something. Yeah, and fucking. And I think. Yeah, I think it's funnier when, like, I, when I see other comics bomb and I think it's a clever joke, mm. and it bombs, it's the funniest thing ever. Yeah, it's yeah. funnier <laughs> than the actual joke hitting. Yeah. It's. I hate it when like you guys don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it when I got um, maybe specifically Reed in this example because um, he knows a lot of my jokes and blah blah blah, and I'll tell him that I'm trying a new joke whenever like he comes to a show. Mm. And I, whenever I do a joke on stage for the first time, I can't get it out. Like, mm. no matter how hard I try, no matter mm. how hard I rehearse, I'll fumble the words, I'll put the fucking beginning mm. at the end. And right, write, yeah. Yeah, okay. no matter what. And, like, I remember I did uh, Chevron Island, like, a month ago with him. <laughs> and I tried this new bit about, like, like irrational fears. And mm. it just wasn't coming out. And I'm just like, fuck. And I just had to end on one of my, like, Bits I knew work to, right. just to try and redeem myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, this is so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> but nice. I like, you hear all the pros talk about that as well. Like when they release their hour and then it's like, you're starting from fresh. Like mm. that scares the shit out of me. To think that people, you know, that are performing, like the people that you have up here right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Had people not laugh at them at yep. one point? Yeah, it's nuts. That's pretty motivating. 100%. <laughs> Especially <laughs> fucking Bill Burr, like that 15 yeah. minutes in Philadelphia. Yeah. Where <laughs> that's so fucking iconic. Like, really? It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, and I think just being able to push through the fire as well. Like, mm. I think the, what I did wrong in my first set is I just didn't have the maturity to just be up there, do my time. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're wasting their time. Yeah. Or, like, you think that just because you're not making them laugh doesn't mean you're, like, worthy of being up there. It's like yeah, yeah. You're, you're actually speaking into the microphone. You've sort of worked out some sort of material. Yeah. You're, you're worthy of being up there. If you're not saying something fucking super stupid. Yeah. Cut the lights. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Dude, my first set was stupid as fuck. And I'm just – I was just lucky that I had a good bunch of people there that night that mm. fucking picked me up. Because I literally, like – Blacked out. Like, I don't remember being up there. <laughs> like, I remember being up there. I don't remember what I said or what happened. Or so, do you know if it went well or not? You don't it did, I don't think it went well. Because <laughs> all the advice they were giving me after was keep going, <laughs> man. <laughs> mm. No, nah, but I um I obviously watched everyone's specials and shit, and I'm like, oh, well, five minutes. So you just need to have one good story for five minutes, 
And I'm just up there rambling about fucking shit for five minutes. Yeah. like the, yeah, I'm just trying it. to fill the five minutes, basically. And when yeah. I got off, they were just like, why don't you try and do like three or four short little bits mm. in the five minutes? And mm. I'm like, that's not what fucking Dave Chappelle does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what do these guys know? And then right. next set, like I, my second set ever was at Good Chat. And I tried, like, I think I had four little jokes. And like... The crowd reacted fucking so much better. Mm. And then I said last week, and there was a dude there, um, Mark the Shark. I don't know if you met him. Fuck yeah. Yeah, good Mark bloke. Shark's he fucking come up to me after and just said, fucking, that was pretty funny, man. You need to keep going. Yeah. And then I quit for 10 months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> shit, dude. Just because of fucking life. Of course. Work, yeah, yeah, shit. it gets in the way. Um, so, yeah. It's the <laughs> biggest commitment that nobody tells you to do. Definitely. It's one of those things, like, I'm like, I do, I've noticed that I've been doing a lot of things that, like, I don't need to be doing. Mm. I don't need to be trying to run marathons. I don't need to be fucking getting up and telling dick jokes. Yeah, yeah. But for some reason, I just do it, and it's just fun. It's crazy from the outside looking in as well. Like, to everyone else, we're just standing on the stage mm. talking. But to get what we're saying in that five oh, yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. to the where... The work that goes behind it. Exactly. It's mm. fucking crazy. Like, it seems... It's such a disciplined I don't I don't know how to word it. It's so disciplined for something that doesn't look yeah. disciplined, I guess. Hundred like, percent. That's what I noticed in Melbourne too, is like a lot of these like really established comics, they just fuck around. Yeah. And they just go balls to the walls and mm. like either they do their material or they just fuck up the crowd with some fucking bomb as fuck crowd work. That's and also working. On material, technically, right? Building yes. up your yeah, acuity to like think yes. quickly and yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I hear. I don't know if I put it down to because fucking all the podcasts I listen to, like all these famous comedians and shit, they'll just say, "I'll go to the club and I'll try and work some shit out on stage." Mm. But for me, it's like, fuck, I've got like two gigs this week for argument's sake. I don't want to sacrifice that five minutes to like. Do that shit, whereas they've got, like, three gigs a night fucking mm. jumping around yeah, all night, of, every night. As like, open markers, I think we, we are stuck in a box, mm. which I think the point of it is to get us so, like, riled up yeah. to just explode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pressure cooker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 100% is yeah. a pressure cooker. It's like you, you're given five to seven minutes, yeah. right? Um, and, you know, don't be a fucking dog and go over that mm. either. But I just, I'm like, man, if I could just string together like four, five minute sets, yeah. it would just be my favorite thing ever. Yeah. Cause that's what, um, but I'm just not at that level yet. Yeah, like nobody's going to accept me as that level mm. either. Like Dude, I, I heard Christina P I was listening to her podcast and she broke it down and she's like, I'm building my new hour. Mm. And she's like, when I broke it down, it's just five minutes every month I need to come up with. Mm. And, like, when she said that, it sounded so simple. For yeah. someone who her, like like her, who's been doing it for, like, 20 years and has all her joke structure down pat, she just needs a story to attach to that. Yeah. But for me, it's like, fuck, I've taken a year and a half to get my five minutes tight as fuck. Literally. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, so frustrating. Yeah. That's just time, right? Yeah, 100%. That, yeah. Fucking when I'm 20 years in, hopefully I can just get a fucking... My kid falls off the slide and I get a 10-minute bit out of it. Like, So how long have you been doing it for? Uh, come About a year and a half, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah November cool. 2021. One, yeah. Yeah. Man. But my first little stint I was talking about, that was the start of 2021. Right. So I did my first two sets in February 2021. Had a break and then... So I only sort of claim from November 2021. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it was longer than that. Like, you started earlier than that. Nah, nah. So February, yeah, February 2021 and then November. Kick back into it. Thought about getting a crack, bro? No. Yeah, he, he does no. deep down. No, I yeah. don't. I 100% don't. I like it and I yeah. enjoy comedy. Yeah, yeah. I have no desire to be up there. That's yeah. fair. If you have yeah. no desire, don't do it. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whether you're good or you're not, yeah, you're right. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the quote? If you think you're good if or if you think you're bad, you're correct. Yeah. I just recognise that, like, there must be so, like, and in talking to other people, there's so many people that their mates tell them, oh, you're funny, you should do it. But in your group of mates, being funny is not the same as, like, being funny on stage. Yeah, I find it hard to listen to anybody that straight up says they're funny. 
Mm. Yeah. Like a comic, established comic is able to say that they're funny. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you, yeah. you have your, your accolades and your achievements to say that you're funny. But for someone in an open mic to be like, yeah, I'm a funny guy. Like yeah. I, I just thought I'd give it a go because I'm yeah. funny. It's oh, like, yeah. what? According I would to get, away, get yeah. away from me, you fucking psycho. <laughs> I think anyone, I think if you, like how I feel, if you get paid for it, you can say that you, you're funny. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. That's probably yeah. a fair call. Even if you personally don't think they're funny. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. <clears throat> yeah definitely. well i guess i so a few of my sets i was a bit of a pro comic for like three months <laughs> nice <laughs> i uh i went up i li- lived in early beach for a little bit okay. okay uh this was probably about this time last year and in Mackay, that's um so i knew reed and and peter yeah right and then they all sort of came up for some shows and then reed got me on a couple of shows up in Mackay, the ambassador. Okay. And then I sort of stayed around and I was sort of like the only one with confidence. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Someone with like some sort of like comedy experience that wasn't from Mackay. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. So they sort of like this lady who was booking them, um, she was just basically, I'll pay you a hundred dollars to MC tonight yeah or MC this night mm. um can you do it and I'm like yeah. <laughs> yeah and you know just getting like printers posted out uh, posters printed out and like um and all that stuff man it was so much fun yeah, but yeah. I knew I wasn't ready for that right I knew I knew that I was in this stage where like these really I no offense but like low level comics mm. were booking me to be like a headliner or an MC for these events. And my, as much as like I appreciated the opportunity and, and loved the experience, six people rocked up every time yeah, yeah. I was like headlining or MCing. So it was just, it was sort of tough because I didn't want to say no. Yeah. Yeah. But, and then they were like requesting me to like do 20 minutes. And then right. um, Anna's been like a, a big mentor to me, Anna yeah, Brennan. Yeah. Um, and I like message her and be like, this bitch wants me to fucking do like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> what do I say to her? She's like, no, yeah. you're not ready. And yeah. I'm like, okay, thank you, Anna. Yeah, Appreciate definitely. it. Yeah. Anna's advice has just been the best thing. She's like my, uh, I call her my evil comedy stepmother. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's, nah, she's amazing. She's mentor. always been fucking super nice to me as well. Yeah. I was pretty keen to jump on that gig. What, when did we do that? I was fucking on my birthday at Birdie's. At Birdie's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was that your fun. birthday? Yeah, yeah. Shit, that's right. I was that the one where you said you filled in for someone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone fell out that morning fucking. Yeah. And then... Because we met at Hello Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, that's right. When you opened for Yeah. Hello. Yeah. That was fucking... Uh, that was a bad night. <laughs> 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 I think I was telling you like a month ago, like... Yeah. At a Chevron gig. Yeah, you were. I felt so bad. So, and I had... Um, she was practic- practicing her solo show at Hello Gorgeous for Kickstart Comedy. Okay. And both the people that run Kickstart Comedy were out of town that night. So they messaged me and they're like, hey, can you run the sound and stuff? And I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Like, that'd be sick. <laughs> um, so I go and do it and I get there and Anna's like, uh, do you want to do five at the start? And I'm like, uh, I was just meant to run the sound, blah, blah, blah. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. But I'm like. Okay, yeah, because I don't want to turn yeah. down a fucking gig. Yeah. yeah, yeah, never turn down state time. So then I got up and I like, I didn't have my five as tight as I've got it now, mm-hmm. and I it wasn't great, yeah, to be honest. Okay, um, and then because I was still in that nervous phase, <coughs> I didn't even fucking introduce her. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was You're just like, like, good night, guys. I was just like, thank you, good night, <laughs> and then just left the mic, like yeah. left the microphone. And then Anna had to jump up and be like. I'm Anna Brennan. Like, like I felt like yeah. the biggest fuckhead. As soon as I got back to my seat, I'm like, "You're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Go play in traffic. Go like, play in traffic." She's yeah. gonna think you're a dickhead for the rest of your life. Uh, like, fuck. That's because isn't that a thing? Like, I, I hear about it. So it's either an MC will come up in between and yep. bring everyone up, yeah. or whoever's on before will bring up the next person. Exactly. I guess it depends on the show. Like, um, if you've got comics going up doing 15-minute spots, mm-hmm. they will just introduce yeah. the yeah. next comic. Yeah. yeah, so I know when Sit, like, sit Down, for example, does their uh, Mitzi nights, mm. each comic will be like, oh, thank you very much. I've been blah, blah, blah. Please welcome to the stage next comedian yeah, yeah. so they don't have to get an MC. Um, 
But yeah. And then you get I, extra time to be on stage. Yeah. Well. yeah. It's just a fucking mental blank and <laughs> it's another one of those <laughs> moments so where it's like fucking It's so funny too. Brain. Like I'll I'll re listen to a set driving into the driveway to go to another set. I'll be listening to my previous set yeah. or a set that I feel like I did well. And then I'm like, okay, can't remember that tag. I've got to do this tag and then I'll, I'll replay it in my head, replay it in my head. Get up there, I say none of that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck, yeah, dude? Yeah. You fucking ADHD motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. 100%. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm getting fucking blazed as fuck. Well, before I, sometimes I get yeah. on stage, I'm like, well. I think it helps <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um, I sort of haven't made it a choice yeah, okay. to like yeah, for it to be bad or good. Like I'll yep. get up there and just be sort of just loosey goosey. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of the time if I've done a few sets sober and it's just like hard to just like make things funny. Mm. Yeah, okay. In a way for me. That but, makes sense. But I I'll happily do a, a set sober for sure. Yeah. Cuz I I um I said for the first like maybe year I'd always, it, it was a habit to have two beers before I got on. Mm. Like, that was it. But then I, like, it clicked. I'm like, this is, Sitting in the A, habits. it's A, it's bad for my bank account, and B, mm. it's probably not a good yeah. thing to get into. Mm. You're losing money. Because I'm fucking, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, B, like, B, like, I don't want to fucking be about to run out on Suncorp Stadium to headline. <laughs> and I need I, a beer. <laughs> yeah. Right. And just be drunk as fuck, because, like, every year it's escalated another right. beer. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, I, now I'll just have water and then if my set goes well, I might have a beer with fucking whoever's sure. hanging around. And yeah, yeah, use it as a treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my treat. Yeah. <laughs> beer is my treat. For be a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Get a beer. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. But I yeah. love, uh, I love uh, Lloyd Bendel. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he bomb, like crushes, sorry, yeah. he goes and gets an ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so good. He man. came on here is talking about it. Oh, real? Yeah, yeah. cool. He was at the Bean Lee show as well. That I oh, man. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, fuck I w- I'm so fucking... I was so pissed when I missed that. I was like oh, really? sitting at home. No, I would have been I would have been in uh, in the room at the time when on the 21st. Yeah, and, yeah. And I was like, fuck, I wish I was in being yeah. there right now. Like, <laughs> it just seemed... Because like I had... Se- uh, up until that point, I had seen Anna's set mm. eight times. Yeah, okay. I was like, not, I'm not sick of it, but like I was definitely like, I could go home right now and mm. I miss yep. the Brisbane crowd and... Mm. Things like that. And yeah. No, it's um, like you were saying before, I'm, I'm stuck with that show a little bit. I was talking to my wife about it today because uh, I've just finalised the lineup for the next show. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's awkward. It's not awkward. I feel like it looks shit because I've put myself on the lineup again. Um, but only because there's a heap of people that didn't come to the first show and they're like, we'll come to this one. If you if you're up again, yeah, as so, people you know, like other people you know, yeah, like yeah. fucking friends and family, blah yeah. blah blah. But I also want to get to a point with that show where I'm the MC and I'm bringing people, yes. in yeah. sort of thing. Yes. So then that doesn't look as shit. But I'm not at the point of fucking. I see where you're coming from, but I think I don't. It's your show, fucking. Yeah, don't. Don't like let people's expectations oh, yeah. of you. Oh, hundred percent. I hold you I back. Know. Like I you know. book this yeah. club. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get that fucking stage <laughs> time, bro. Get, get that pay. Them <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, no, nah, just fucking. It's like hundred percent. I won't be on the next one unless I somehow work out how to MC in before then. Which yeah. I'm. Um, there's a couple of rooms where I've hit, asked to MC, which they've said yes, but you've hasn't. asked if you could. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, the karaoke bar. I've asked MC there a couple of times. I reckon that'll be a good place to learn because yeah. it's. I haven't done that place yet. Haven't you? No, I was listening to uh, the Reed episode. Yeah, the other yeah. Day. I think yeah. you had to peel fucking <laughs> the stools off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was fucking, like, it's such a vivid yeah. explanation of like what a club floor is. If you like. want a fucking dingy open mic room where no one wants you there, and. Like fucking, if you make them laugh, you know your shit's good. Puts that's the perfect on your chest. room. That's yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's the. I reckon that's probably the room that's fucking built me to take the fucking. The How many licks. times have you done that? So many times. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've never been. Isn't it? I'm, I'm not even in contact with the person who runs yeah. it. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. That's why you said that you like it. Hey. Is that I, like, yeah, I kind of like. I like it. Like, you might get one good gig out of every ten, but it's like 
those nights where, I don't know, you'll just get something out of that crowd and you'll just change something little and then you go to another big room like fucking Good Chat or something. Good chat, I love Good Chat. And then fucking it crushes there mm. and I'm like, fuck, I'm so glad I did that mm. shitty gig. Mm. Not that it's a shitty gig. Um, <laughs> tiptoe, tiptoe. <laughs> yeah. That's um, right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. people that attend don't flag, laugh sometimes. Yeah, flag. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, but fucking you, you know what I mean. Yeah. But no, yeah. that's cool as. No, yeah, I want to I wanna get up there at that karaoke bar. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know next time I'm on. You okay. fucking come hang out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you live down that way, eh? I am in Gold Coast, yeah. Yeah, that's GC sick. living. GC living. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sick. Yeah, man. It, people say, like have all these stereotypes about the Gold Coast, and like, I believe them for like probably the first four years that I lived there. Okay. I've grown to love it. Mm. Yeah, it's just, I went down to Melbourne. When I was in Melbourne, I was like, this place is fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah. In what way? Um, the people. Yeah, okay. okay. Just, just busy or like constantly. Yeah, okay. like even at three a.m. It's busy right. and it's sad too. Like there's homeless people out there. And I'm like, bro, it just mm. makes me sad. But, um, but like we the crazy people here too, though. Huh? We have homeless people here too, though. Yeah, but it's not as crazy. It's it. I admit it's increased a fair bit recently. Um, around my area. To, I just look at them as crackheads. I don't look at them as homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a story about crackhead, <laughs> but maybe we'll come back to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the the karaoke karaoke bar gig is on Caval Ave, mm. and I don't know the last time you guys have walked down Caval Ave at night time, but it's pretty fucking depressing. Like mm. yeah. every corner you look in, there's some. Oh no, I avoid like Service Paradise. Yeah. with everything I got. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty depressing. Just can't like their whole shit is just there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I'm like, Fuck. I used to live right on the Esplanade. Mm. On like a first level, like a a, a hotel, mm-hmm. yeah. just live in a rental an apartment there, and I'd be like, I have the worst sleep schedule. Okay, so like I'll be up at like two thirty, and then I'll have the munchies. Could have been punching bongs, <laughs> probably <laughs> aiding to the lack of sleep. Yeah. Right? But, <laughs> um, but I would like get up in my jammies, go and like find a kebab. Yeah, right. The amount of times that I've like just been like this NPC, just like yeah. walking through fights. Yeah. And like, I'll be like, I was like on the phone crying this one time. I was just having a moment and I was crying to my mom and these Esh lads come up to me like, oh, you little bitch, what are you fucking crying for? I'm like, what gun? Like, fuck off. But yeah, I'm just like sitting there sopping and these guns want to fuck with me. I'm like, this city, dude. I'm not in a state to defend myself. (laughs) Fucking touching back on how I said, um... Like, I haven't done stand-up for so long and I've been back in my shell. Mm. The fucking, like, um, like depression and anxiety has come back, like, more than anything. I had my son's... Oh, interesting. Yeah, my son had a school disco last night. And I'm sitting at that thing just watching... More than anything in the world, kids will make me sad as fuck. Yeah. Like, there was this one kid... It was a Disney... What? <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? I get it too. Once, I get once it. you've had kids, man... Like Will make you sad? 100%. So yeah, I get like it. Th- for example... Because they're being dicks? Or? No, 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 no. All that as well. But for example, this it was a Disney disco, right? So everyone had to come dressed as Disney. My son didn't want to get dressed up because he's fucking shy and shit. Sure. So he just wore a Mickey Mouse jumper. Yeah. We get there, this one kid has gone all out as the kid from Up. Like oh, he's dressed yeah. in the full fucking backpack and he's got these balloons, right? That's racist. That kid's oh. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is he? <laughs> Anyway, he really? yeah, he's like a po- little he like, is, fat yeah, Puerto yeah, Rican yeah. kid or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, maybe he's I'm, got these maybe balloons. Was, yeah, yeah. And then fucking it, all of a sudden, everyone starts rocking up and he lets these balloons go and they just go to the ceiling. And I'm like, it made me On so purpose? upset. No. And then he started to get so upset. And I was saying to my wife, I'm like, I need to fix this. Like, <laughs> that kid is so sad right now. So my parents. <laughs> he's <laughs> Mexican as fuck, right? right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, par- my parents live. Yeah. Two minutes from the school, right? So I've gone to mum and dad's house and I'm like, do you guys have a giant A-frame ladder? And they're looking at me like I'm fucking stupid. And I'm like... <laughs> you didn't. 100%. And I was like, there's well, a you kid. How holds the ceiling? There's no uh, way. I, I never would have reached it. It was fucking say, yeah, no way. 10 metres high. Like, Can I have your I need foot ladder? Can I have something? a cherry picker, please? Dude, I felt Coat so bad for this <laughs> kid because in his face. I, yeah, I get it. He went and sat next to his mum for like half an hour because he was yeah, so upset. Yeah, I get and it. I was like, I can suck it up. Oh, my God. And then another <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Where it's in there eating and this little girl's running like she was maybe two. 
falls over, skins both her knees like bad as fuck. <laughs> she, <laughs> this guy doesn't have kids. You put the disco in the car park? What the fuck? It was pitch black for some reason. No, I get that, but why? What did she graze her knees on? Aren't they it usually was in, like, like the basketball court? Yeah, well, graze her knees Ghetto. on what? On the concrete. She was running. Oh, oh yeah, not yeah, like yeah. an indoor court. Okay. No, okay, no, okay, no, okay. no. This is ghetto. This is concrete. Yeah, okay. We're playing for keeps. Okay. Um, <laughs> one on one. Yeah. Anyway, she skinned her knees and I was like saying to Nikita, I'm like, should I go get her a Band-Aid or something? She's like, it's not oh, your kid. Like, she has other parents. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The problem is, I feel like I need to, f- if I, I see something, I, I feel it. like I need no, to fix it. I do too. Like, but only because I've seen other people be shitty parents. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, but yeah, fucking. It's I don't know. So many things go wrong. I w- my current job, I'm a support worker and PT with people with intellectual disabilities. Uh-huh. So like, okay. um, the shit that I see, like it's it's funny. A lot of the stuff is is really funny because yeah. it's yeah. like it's like they sort of care about like just the weirdest things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you sort of just got to have a positive attitude about it. Like I can't. It, it's a lot. I've learned a lot. Like. If someone falls, um, a lot of the time, the reason why kids start crying is because you're like, oh, okay, is everything mm, okay? Mm. Right? Like you, you run at them yeah, or yeah. Yeah, things like that. Um, and then they think that something's wrong. So then they decide to cry. Rock. Yeah. But I don't know. Whenever I, whenever I see like regular kids yeah, that yeah. don't have like yeah. anything like going on with mm-hmm. their uh, chemicals in their brain, yeah. I just think it's funny as fuck. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> I get it too. At the root of it, I see it as funny. Like uh, yeah, because like just, if you're I'm, an if, adult, yeah, if you're an adult and your balloons, mm, I don't, I, dude, one hundred percent. If this ha- <laughs> <laughs> and you threw a tantrum, dude, <laughs> if this happened three weeks ago, I know, I don't give a fuck if there's balloons up there. What I'm just mean? in this weird mental, like right. The other night I couldn't sleep. I was just up till fucking like thinking about, about the balloons. No, <laughs> oh fuck. I was up till one a.m. I had to get up at three a.m. You're like, like fuck. I could have inhaled that helium. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was just sitting there and I just like, I was just depressed about it. That sucks, man. Yeah. I suppose like, yeah, you sort of like in those states, you sort of start to sort of absorb other people's stuff. And yeah, like I think that was a big thing for me too in Melbourne. I didn't see the sun for five days. Because like the way my room was was positioned, I was just looking at buildings. We were on like the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. So it was like pretty grungy. And then, like, we were doing late nights. Yeah. Like, I wasn't getting home till like, four some nights. Sleeping in. Then going and doing, like, a d- sitting in a dark room. I yeah, didn't yeah. see the sun for, like, a long time. Yeah, that's crazy. So, like, it, this, like, depression started setting in. and then That's legit, though. Like, that can make you depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I started walking home and, like, seeing all the homeless people, I'm like, fuck, it's actually cold out here, eh? Like, mm. I should just go and buy, like, mm. eight Earl Grey teas and yeah. just go hand them out. Mm. And then Anna was like, well... They get free shit all the time, bro. Like, mm. like what? Well, they, they get a lot of help. Yeah, yeah. You just because like, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. mm. the, the the fucking asshole move is like, yeah, I buy these Earl Grey teas. Let me film it. Yeah, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Do a Mr. Beast move. Huh? It's it's tough. Yeah, because so much of the, I'd say to Nikita, um, sometimes I do gigs in South Bank, and it fucking I don't know why it. When I say this out loud, I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Can't now I'm about to say it out loud, but <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. No, so no. when I do gigs at South Bank, you drive past... You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you drive past the fucking, like, children's hospital to get back on the highway. Oh, yeah. And I just look up in those shit. windows and, like, every night I just see, like, a parent just sitting there looking out yeah. the window or something. Someone's having like, a fucking bad time. I'm like, fuck, I wish there was something I could do to help you. But my comedy is not for a children's hospital. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, I should go over there and make them laugh. <laughs> just yeah. the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But fuck. Do you just think you could like work on clean comedy like that? I don't think I can. Not, I don't think it's you, in me. <laughs> you, me specifically. I yeah. think you, would, if you were trying to do comedy in a kids' cancer ward, mm. um, it's just you'd be it's like Robin Williams. I, yeah, I, I feel like if, to, if you make them laugh, it's meant to help. Yeah. I guess yeah. I don't know Yeah It's like I feel like it would be different To my comedy I feel like I'd just be silly Like I am with my yeah, kids yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way like, I, f- I feel like I'd just start saying Like ridiculous shit <laughs> Like <laughs> Like I'm so grateful Like I'm healthy Or some <laughs> shit <laughs> Just be like <laughs> My parents are starting They're all like, I think you missed the point of this yeah, Please leave Right <laughs> Fuck it up 
<laughs> yeah, it's um, literally. There's so many times that like I want to help with a charity or something, but I don't know. Like, yeah, you don't even do. know how to get started or anything. And well, it's like you hear the shitty stories where like ten percent of the profits or something goes oh. to the. Mm. That you yeah, should, it's fucked. It's thing. fucked. Yeah. When that Lebanon explosion happened, mm. um, I I don't know why. It just like it just hit me. Like a ton of bricks. Like yeah. I was watching. I watched. Like just kept watching it on the news. Like it filling in. Like just new news updates and like people. Like videos of like people at weddings and then the explosion happened and like mm. the shockwave and shit. And I um, I was like, I really just want to help someone out here. And so I sent um a little bit of money through this charity. Yeah. And then I was like, I wonder sort of wonder where that money is going. Mm. And I looked yeah. it up and apparently <laughs> I just gave it to the dodgiest fucking charity. Oh, really? And they probably won't get it. Yeah. yeah. I, I paid for maybe the the flight fee, part of the flight fee to get something over there. But mm. like, yeah. I just wasn't enough to like make a change. And I was like, fuck. Yeah, this shit is like a bit of a scam, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. It's, um, it's hard though because I feel like all of these companies, they wouldn't have started out as like, oh, we're going to make money yeah. to be a scam. We want to genuinely help people. Yeah, definitely. But then, like, the logistics that comes behind it. Yeah. How do yeah. you do that? Once you, start, do you once you start running it as a business, you're like, fuck, I've got all these overheads. And, like, there's some charities out there that they don't need to go and buy a big corporate office and shit like that, and they do mm. do it tough. But it's like you've got to find those ones, mm. like, between them all. Mm. But it's also crazy, too, because it's like, you, you know, whether you want you have the urge to go and help some kids in Africa... It's like, yeah, you could you can like put your funds towards that, but then it's like the government in Africa that's controlling their people mm. will literally like burn whatever you like. Yeah. If you drop a, like a, a a crate full of food, yeah, yeah. canned food or whatever, and then for a village, it's like within like hours, yeah, the whatever communist fucking bullshit that they have going on. Will like flood there, steal all of it, so that their people don't have it anyways. It's yeah. like, it's like, um, fucking. I know we've spoken about it before, but the dude who invented Nike, they yeah, Phil Knight. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. asked him why he pays these like Chinese workers and shit mm. so little, and it's because the government has yeah. like capped their wage. Mm. Like, if he pays them more, then everyone else in the country is going to want to mm. expect more. Oh, they're all going to want to work for Nike. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. fuck out of us. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny, know. Adidas. Like Adidas is like a real Nazi company. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I haven't read the Adidas like, dude's book yet. Yeah, the go- <laughs> <laughs> it's Mein Kampf, bro. <laughs> That's the book. No, yeah. Is no, he no, actually not? Like, or? yeah, full on like True. supporter of that. Right. Oh, fucking hell. I don't oh, have, have much facts it. on that. Yeah. But <laughs> it's true. Hey, you've convinced me. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't take much. <laughs> I'm just wearing my Crocs on my runs now. I can't. Yeah. That's so Fucking, funny. um, yeah, so you tried to run 30Ks yesterday, eh? Yeah. I've got Talking the 30K running. event next week. Um, What's that? Is that like the Gold Coast Marathon the, or something? Uh, it's, it's like a separate event. Okay, right. Physio, it's the Physio Cream GC30. Okay. So Sweet. it's just an event at Doug Jennings Park. Mm. You just basically just run laps around it to get up to 30Ks. And okay. Is this another, I was laying there and I saw this thing and I signed up for it? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> really? yeah. No, no, I, I definitely train enough. Yeah. Or like, I, I was sort of winging a bit, but yeah, I train fairly often for yeah, yeah. those types of things. And I don't know, it's sort of like, sort of like comedy. Like, I just chase that feeling for it sort yeah. of deal. Um, sort of out of the norm. Yeah. For a 24 year old, I, uh, I look up to people like Ned Brockman. I don't know if you know who yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, um, I listened to the podcast he did with Cameron Haynes. Have you heard? Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. And it's like, yeah. it's interesting too, like a 23 year old talking to like a 54 yeah. year old man. Definitely. And like they're able to come together and like, yeah. you know, see eye to eye on mm. a lot of things and like they're physically capable of doing, you know, the same yeah. similar things. And yeah, it was amazing. That, because I am. Um, awesome. I heard about the whole Ned Brockman thing while I was going on, like mm. watched from a distance, but I never fully <coughs> got into it. Mm. And then I listened to that podcast last week and I was like, he was so like mature, I guess. Mm. And fucking, like he knew exactly what he was doing, I suppose, mm. which I didn't expect. Like, Yeah, which is, I've almost gotten that my whole life. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you seem really mature. Like, how old are you? And I'm yeah. like, I said, 20, 24. <laughs> and they're like, 
holy shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never got that. No one's ever told me I'm too really? mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Why I was smirking before. Why? Because you were like, I listened to this podcast and I was like, in my head, I was like, James is going to start marathon running for two weeks. Yeah, let's I, do it. This is where this is leading to. So let's do it. Cody went for his run. You got eight weeks. Cody went for his run yesterday. I'm like, fuck. And I messaged him. I'm like, I'm going to go for a run the Sarvo. Did you? I did. Awesome. How'd you, how'd but you I go? fucking... So, I... Uh, when I'm in the mood, I can run. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday, all day, after I saw you, I was like, I'm in the fucking mood. And I messaged Jake, who's another one mm. of our mates. And I'm like, I'm doing 10K the Sarvo. And I'm like... Was this before? You like this is what, what my plan is. I'm gonna yeah, do yeah. Oh, yeah. All day I'm like I'm doing ten k. I'm doing ten ten k, and fucking um, he's like if you do ten k under an hour or whatever, he's like I'll give you fifty bucks or something. <laughs> and I was like that's cool because I look back at my like running stats and I've done it under an hour before. Sure. I'm like oh, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, the last time How was 2019. Yeah, but I was like ago. yeah, I was like fucking I've got it and like. I don't know, I might go on a run once a fortnight maybe, but it's only like three Ks. But fucking yesterday I'd got four Ks in and I was just, my knee was fucking hurt and, and I was like, yeah. I can't fucking do this. But I'm going to get the 10 Ks, I'm going to get it. Listen to a bit of David Goggins. That's my, yeah, yeah. If, I, if I don't want to do anything, yeah, it's David Goggins' motivational 10-minute video. Yeah, yeah. And I just sit there and stare at my runners mm. and... And just contemplate that I'm a little bitch. Yeah, definitely. And I'm just going to fucking get up and do it. <laughs> that's that's like my motivation. I just need to push past that little thing in your brain. Like, fucking, you with your ice baths. I don't know how the mm. fuck you do that. Mm. How, like, did you get one? Like, I've seen it on my feet a lot. Like, one of those little, like, a inflatable. No, ones. no. So, I, I have a proper... I bought, went and bought a brand new chest freezer. Okay. Um, sealed it up with, like, aquarium yeah, sealant. Cool. So, like, it's rated to, like, negative 50 or something. Um, and you just, I just have it, like, on a cycle. And then, yeah, just fill it up with water. Good to go. I've got, like, an aquarium oh. filter in it, too. Okay. Big, big boy aquarium filter, yeah. which, is, which is dope. So, it keeps it clean. I don't like it. It's chemical-free, too, so. Because I've, um, I don't have the funds to invest in a cold plunge at the moment. Oh, that was but all on ZipPay. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Represent <laughs> sponsored yes. zip pay. You can, um, you can so get like those little like the ones that I've been seeing is like an esky. No, it's just like a little. It's like an inflatable. It's like a thing. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, just but then you you know every time you want to have you a have pop, to ice bath, yeah. it's like yeah. it's like thirty dollars in ice. Yeah. yeah. So I've, I've started trying to have cold showers, but I just fucking can't do it. Eh? Yeah, I like cold showers. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's the best. Something about it. I like put my arm in and I'll be like. But no, no, you got to be in and then crank the cold. That, but that's the thing. Oh, so you start warm? No. I've, oh, I've done both. So I've done where it's oh. cold and walk in, or I'll at the end of the shower, if I'm having a normal shower, I'll be like, oh, we'll just crank the cold for the last That's bit. all yeah. I can do. So at the moment, that's where I'm starting. I'll start on a warm shower and I'll have my comfortable shower and then I'll just fucking go cold for the last, like... 10 seconds. Ten, yeah, yeah. Pro- <laughs> it probably is 10 <laughs> seconds. In my head, it feels like an hour. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But yeah what, no, and it's like... Um, it's like it's almost like bombing, right? Like it's shit. Yeah, but it's shit on purpose. Yeah. It makes you feel good afterwards. Shit. Yeah, that's it. That it's meant to be. Because when I get out of the shower for my ten seconds, I'm yeah. like, I do feel better, but it's it's just pushing through that thing. I think mm. maybe yeah. maybe if I try and look at it like bombing, but it's even maybe. but it's even like with running, it's like everything has barriers. It's like you set yourself a three k goal, right? Yeah, yeah. Set yourself a three k goal. If you, see how you're feeling at three k's. Yeah. If you do another three k's. That's cool. Yeah. Because you know, you already know you can do 3K. So yeah. why not do another one if you feel good? But sitting in the bar, it's like getting the breath mm. going, okay, only setting a one minute timer. Yeah. And then getting to one minute and being like, this is fucking shit. Yeah. I want to get out. You can get out. Do you what, get. What do you have to prove? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get lightheaded? Because I've noticed no. that in my cold showers, I get a bit lightheaded. No. But nah. that's. Okay. I mean, that's your body reacting. Yeah, to yeah. It. Yeah. Over. Like. You do it consecutively, <coughs> it'll uh, it'll sort of tone that'll tone down, yeah. and your body will adapt. I went with Troy a few times to, I think actually I went with Troy once, but I've been a few times to a cryotherapy place. Okay, it's pretty that's cool. like where you stand in the giant like yeah. thing, and your neck's just out. No, the one we went to is like where you hold, you get into a thing, like oh, your whole right. body, like the yeah. the whole room. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sweet, like a little chamber. Yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah. 
It's cool. It sucks, but it's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. The, the science isn't too, like, um, what is it, convincing on that? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a dumbass, but, like, <laughs> from what people tell me that know what they're talking about, they say that, you know, the cold plunge is so much better because you're immersed in it, whereas, like, a cryo, it's, like, it's just freezing your outer layer. So, like, you're not actually, like, with water, it's, like, you can't, it's like a weird sort of cold. Yeah. Like you can't move to get out of it. It's yeah, like, yeah. it's constantly there. Mm. Whereas in this thing, you couldn't move to get out of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, um, <laughs> and you got to wear the mitts and shit. Hey? No, no. Oh, uh, actually it's a, glo- it's like a thin glove just so you don't stick your hand to the wall or whatever. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The wall, that's <laughs> Cause, um, I, uh, obviously I heard about the whole thing. Through Rogan, yeah. like a lot of people. But um, he's like upgrading to that next step where it's like a flowing ice bath so your body oh, can't yeah. get comfortable. That's, I reckon that would be so fun. Yeah, so I have like a mini version of that. Like my oh, yeah, because you got the filter and shit. My eh? pump, yeah. it, it sort of does the job, but like I've been, I've been looking up fucking water jets yeah. that I can just plug in That's just great. to filter water because like I want it like a flowing yeah. river. Yeah, yeah. Do you do it every day? Um, so I didn't do it in Melbourne, but cold showers in Melbourne, yeah, next yeah. level, next level. <laughs> Cause like, it's so cold. Cause down the there. pipes are cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just go stand yeah. outside with your clothes off. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah. It's next level. Like cold like showers. Homeless yeah. people piss on you. But, um, I probably had, <laughs> I had like 18 days off. Yeah. Um, from like the time that I went to Melbourne and then got back and then. Did you sort notice of just, it when you got back? Like oh yeah, no, yeah. it's been shit house yeah. getting back into it because I was doing it consecutively, uh, like six days a week, um, getting up like you know two minutes, and then I was like, I'm getting comfortable with two minutes, so then I was upping it to three minutes. Yeah, um, and but it's like it's hard too because it's like right outside my brother's bedroom, so yeah, like okay. when I get out, I just want to be like, woo! <laughs> it's like four thirty <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Just like let's go. That's the other crazy thing. I'm trying to get up. I don't know how you do it so early in the morning, yeah. dude. That's yeah, yeah. You fucking. It's, crazy. I think it's, it's just get it done, and then like you, you once you've done it, you know why you do it. Yeah, That's I really, I like the whole run thing yesterday. I genuinely put it down to my like mental mind state at the mm. moment because during like you said the whole fucking David Goggins shit mm. during the run, I'm like your legs don't hurt. You mm. fucking. You're breathing, like you're fine. Keep running, but it was just like, just my brain just shut down, mm. and I'm like, "You're a fucking idiot." Like, yeah, go back to the car. Also, you gotta like, you also gotta listen to your body. Like, you don't want to give yourself an injury. Like, you work. You yeah, well, like- that that the only thing with running is, and fucking, I hate talking about it. I got a fuck knee. I got like an ACL. I got a fucking doctor's report about it. <laughs> it's some ACL classic. Big yeah, guy, yeah. No, usually. it's some yeah. ACL damage where they don't want to operate on it with me being this young or something. They want to wait till I'm like 40 or some shit. But when I run excessively, it feels like an elastic band. Just fucking, you pull it right back and it slaps inside my knee. Yeah. And it's so fucked. And like, so I can get a steady jog on, but then sometimes, like in 2019 where I was running pretty well, like I'd be trying to beat my fucking my five k record and all that shit, yeah. and I'd just I'd be pushing my body and I'd just feel it snap, and I'd be mm. like, "You're an idiot! Now you can't run for a week." Like, Literally, yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's how I am sometimes. Like I'll I'll push it really hard, and then yeah, like my foot will be sore. Yeah, like my foot's really sore. Like been sore lately. Yeah, and I, like I'm just sort of just gonna save it just to go through the pain on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but yeah, it's it. It's a mental battle, bro. Yeah, yeah it is, hundred like, percent. But and then, like, it's funny too because like I'm friends with a lot of fighters. Yeah, friends with a lot of people that run long distances. The one thing that they say they would rather fucking stick a fork in their eye is is do comedy. Oh, oh really? <laughs> they're like, I don't know how you do it, bro. Yeah, I'm like, but you get in there and you fucking throw hands. Yeah, yeah. And get kicked and lose mm. in front of your family. Yeah. I yeah. like I would do it. Yeah, definitely. But like, it's not something that I I'd ra- way rather do comedy. Me too. At this point, like, <laughs> no, no <laughs> consequences. Yeah, kick me in the face. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Oh, there was a fucking like that was one of my little phases. I was gonna I was gonna be in the UFC like fucking mm. blah blah blah, and then obviously I didn't fucking do that. Like, what, oh, did you just start training? A little bit. Like all up, I probably have six months training. Maybe. Yeah. What, what were you doing? 
Uh, just fucking mainly jujitsu. Cool. Like if I feel pretty confident in that little realm. Yeah. 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 No, I've, I did jujitsu for a little bit. Yeah. Um, on and off probably I, I got up to one stripe. Yeah. Yeah. A white belt, but like, yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a, it's an expensive commitment. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it takes up a lot of time yeah. and it's good for people that sort of like that's that can be their creative outlet Definitely. stand up is my creative outlet yeah. and running is my creative outlet or well, it's like another outlet yeah and i just i just can't every time i start back up i'm like super into it mm. and then you know i can't get to training sessions because either like i'm working late yeah or um you know i've got sets to do yeah yeah that's where i got to that's what I said to my wife. I'm like, if something did happen with comedy, mm. I'm like, I feel like jujitsu would be my yeah outlet. Mm. Like yeah, and because I fucking enjoyed it, but like you said, it was either work or family or mm. fucking something that was in the way, so to mm. speak. But and also like yeah, I just I I have commitment issues. Yeah, do you? As, yeah, 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 really. Right. Yeah, I just like I sort of just like have all these interests. At mm. one oh, time, I know someone like that. Yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. It's that ADHD, bro. Mm. Like it's, it's, uh, it's, it's gonna, it's all gonna work out. Yeah, I know that it's all gonna work out, but like at the moment, it just seems like in other people's eyes, like the people at That's, my jujitsu gym. If I see yeah. them out in public, they're like, "Oh, hey, bro, like yeah. you're gonna get into it." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I got like other stuff going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. it just seems like I'm being a bitch, but like I'm really not. I yeah. just, yeah, yeah, I just can't dedicate the time." That's, yeah. Like what you just said then rings so true to me. Like, mm. like in my head, I just have the clearest vision of how everything's going to work out. Yeah. yeah, but it's so hard to explain that to everyone else. Like, mm. like, but fuck that though. Like, just do what you think. Yeah, hundred percent. And like, my wife, for example, she's been the most supportive fucking person ever about this whole comedy thing. Yeah. But That's then every now and then, that. every now and then, she'll be like, "What if we get to like ten years in and you're still just doing these like karaoke rooms?" <laughs> <laughs> And like, I'm like, that's possible. Yeah, I'm like, that's what I say. I'm like, it's entirely possible. Like, that is funny. It could happen. I've, always, like, I've, I've sort of always said, like, I hope I get to a point where I know I'm good enough to keep going mm. or I know I'm not good enough to just stop. Yeah. That, I, hope, I hope I'm self-aware enough. Definitely. I, I think I am. Yeah. And a lot of people aren't. Yeah, there is a lot of people. Like, I've, I've been doing open mics for a little bit now and, you know, the amount of people that are still doing open mics... 12 years later and they might have had like these sporadical moments say what like i had in Mackay, mm. where like these people that sort of you know their opinion in the real comedy world yeah isn't valid yeah, yeah but in their little sphere of them booking shows yeah you're a headliner yeah yeah definitely mainly because they're desperate but yeah. like and but they have that and then 12 years later it's like they they still haven't committed themselves to it but also, they probably just like doing open mics. Yeah, exactly. But like, I, know. I, know I want mean. more out of this. Yeah, that's yeah. that's sort of why I've hit this point of like making my own room and like. Is this alright? Yeah. Cool. And um, starting to create my own path in a way, so to speak. Hundred mm, percent. Because I like, I got to a point, and I'm like, I'm just doing all these mics, and it's just like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just I'm doing, doing all these mics. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm just doing them. Like, yeah, no one's going to open a door for me and be like, "Hey, James, here's a fucking Netflix special." Exactly, like, exactly. It. And it's, the thing is that it may happen, but it's it, yeah, unlikely. exactly, it may happen. But there's more that I could be doing personally to further my comedy career. I guess, like, but give also, myself more spots, give myself more venues, mm. learn the whole selling tickets to yes, your own show. Absolutely, learn how to put a show on marketing, fucking, and you, yeah, yeah, and like definitely your. <clears throat> You're better off doing it earlier on in your career. Yeah, right? yeah. But I think we live in like a weird age where like, you know, you, you're only, some some people only do gigs because, you know, they're popping on Instagram. Yeah. Or they're, you know, got ties with somebody. But like, I think that for me personally, I'm trying to be as patient as possible. Yeah, me too. And trying not to chase too much. Like I definitely want to chase like, you know, big things, but also like just let it all marinate and something will flower. Yeah. Like there, Joe Rogan says, comedy is like painting, a, is, is like building a mountain so you, one sorry. paint stroke at a time. Yeah. And it's like, fuck, dude, that is the craziest yeah. thing. Yeah, it is. When you said that, it's just in 
the exact cadence of like a box of chocolates. No, a hundred percent. I fucking like. I know you've got to be patient, but on the other hand, like I'm fucking like. I've just got to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, um, a hundred percent. I don't know why this works for me, but I was listening to Joey Diaz when I was about six months in, and he goes, he goes, don't be in a rush to do anything, but as long as something happens around every 90 days mm. that you can see yourself progressing. That's cool. He's like, you're going to fucking, exactly. you're going to get there. Exactly. And I like, as soon as I heard that, I started going and that's when I made it to the finals of that Ballina competition. And I'm like, okay, that's something. And then I forget what the next one was, but it was like something else big. And I'm like, okay. And then I made it through to the raw finals and I'm like, something's fucking happening here. Like, and it's like, it doesn't have to be something massive, but it's just like something that's like, yeah, and like, keep going. Yeah, exactly yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, and you know, some people, you know, it's like it's like with anything. Like some people just get sort of like they're just in a better time and place mm. that they get better opportunities yep. to you know for them to shine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, seeing I met one of the uh, contestants, not one of the winners, but one of the contestants that uh, won, like was on like the finalist, the final four. Five of the Raw oh, okay. Festival down for in Melbourne. For this year's? Yeah, for this yeah, year's yeah. Mel- um, Melbourne Festival. And, yeah, just like a down-to-earth guy and, like, he was glad that the person that won, mm. won. Yeah, yeah. He deserved it and, like, but no matter what, he his stocks, like, no matter if he does come a second or not, mm. his stocks rise. Because yeah, for sure. he was on that stage, he was part of that crew and, like, you know, Performing in a theatre yeah. for the first time too is like it'd be nuts. That's crazy, and yeah. Meg's a beast. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Meg, ja- Meg Yeager. Yeah, yeah. Because I got a few messages after my semi final, and they're like, <laughs> some people message me. They're like, "Oh, get ready for the spots to roll in." <laughs> <laughs> Where are those spots? <laughs> You're like sitting around watching. <laughs> Look at Still <laughs> yeah, but no, I fucking for a. A couple of weeks after, I did get a few messages and they're yeah. like, do you want a spot and shit like that? So it's, it was good for networking or yeah. getting yourself out there, I guess. The speed bump that I've I've run into now is that I don't post yeah, my okay. sets. And I don't know, I think it's still the fact that I don't want to sort of uh, label myself a comedian to the people that have been following me, like people, yeah. especially people from school and yeah, like yeah. people like that. I'll post photos, no worries, but... Um, part of me still like if I post a video mm. which is funny because I did post a video of me at Candy yep. and I posted a video of me bombing <laughs> right yeah. and I was like I'm just going to start this off with the lowest mm. level yeah, yeah, expectation yeah. Mm. and we're just going to go with that yeah. and then that got like 15,000 views Yeah, and I was <laughs> like imagine if I just posted a good one yeah yeah exactly. like I've, I've got plenty of clips where like people are laughing yeah. but yeah, I just got to put them together. And now bookers yeah. are saying, like, can we see some clips? And I'm yeah, like, yeah. damn, I don't I don't want to. Mm. Like, I don't know. Is it? Yeah. I it's sort of the way now, but. I just sent a, a clip this week that I really didn't want to. Because <laughs> I don't know, like. Um, it's weird. Yeah, it is 100% weird. Uh, it's like, look at me. Is yeah. That the feeling? That's, yeah. that's how I felt. I don't know, but I just, I just don't want to. I guess the the fear is that he just leaves me on red as soon as I... Well, that's post, currently where I'm at. <laughs> oh, really? He just, yeah. like, watched it and yeah, never yeah. replied? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like that's how it is at the moment. Oh, unless I've been well, that's in my the inbox. worst, man. Yeah. Oh, nah, no. I'm trying to put together this, like, little thing. And, yeah. And um, it's like a fucking group of us, like a tour, I guess. It's like yeah. a mini tour. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, send me a clip of your comedy. And I sent it to him. I'm like, but please understand... There's going to be other people on this tour, so even, even <laughs> don't if, just judge me. I'm like, even <laughs> if my comedy doesn't fucking like isn't for you, there's going to be someone there that hopefully it will. Sure, and I just haven't heard from him. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. No, that that thing you uh, you guys are doing is it? Are you part of that with Chris Walters and doing that like regional tour? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not. Okay, no. Nah, Chris right. spoke about it when he was on the podcast. So, right, right, so right. yeah, I think their first show is tonight at uh, Tingalpa. Oh yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So hopefully that goes well. Yeah, for I was on. Mm-hmm. I was on with Kyle the other night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's been fun, man. Yeah, definitely. It. Um. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to go on a little bit of a, a tour thing. Mm. thing. Yeah, Adam took me on to a tour. Yeah, which is pretty cool. 
Yeah. Um, went through like did like four or five nights. Yeah. Okay. Rockham- like Airlie Beach, Mackay, Rockhampton. Yeah. Sweet. Um, and a couple others. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fucking wild time out there. Wild. All for free. Time. too. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'd like it was. It's funny when you because like if someone said like, "Hey, you want to travel eight hours to like do some landscaping?" I'd be like. <laughs> And they were like, oh, it's paying like 1400 bucks. I'm like, fuck no, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone's like, do you want to like maybe try and be funny yeah. uh, for nothing? And yep. I'm like, fuck yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Get me on it. Yeah, that's fucking. Which is uh, where I think I have like a healthy relationship with it. And yeah, exactly. That's what I. Um, but isn't that the, like the idea of gold? Do you find something that you want to do for free? Exactly. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that is, yeah that's that where is. I'm at. Yeah. And that's what like, that's what I sort of say to my wife. I'm like, like if we do get 10 years in and I'm still doing these mics, like, it'll still be pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, absolutely. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, no, me too. It's good but fun. Yeah. Like, and, um, she dragged me along to this. Bean Lee had its, like, cane festival today. And I oh, knew... Is that what all that shit was set up for? Like, there's, like, carnival-y, like, looking shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. And cane, I knew it was going to be shit. Cane festival? Yeah. So they do this thing once a year where it's, like, a cane festival. And um, it's, like, a mini show. And they do this big parade down the street. Anyway, while we were waiting for the parade, I had two crackheads approach me and just fucking, like, have the most random conversation with me. I'm like, I don't want to fucking be in this right now. But the one that got me, this, like, Islander dude, he was, like, sketching out in the crowd. And I don't know why we looked approachable this afternoon. (laughs) But he, like, comes over to me and he's like, what the fuck's going on? And I'm like, oh, it's the Cane Festival. He's like, fuck, man. He's like, there's so many undercover cops here. Oh, shit. And I'm like... Uh, probably. I'm like, <laughs> that's the most <laughs> undercover cop shit yeah. to say. <laughs> I'm you like, think? I'm like, probably. I'm, he's like, yeah, man. He's like, I don't fucking know what's going on. He's like, this wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, and I'm like, no, dude. Oh, really? And I'm like, and Nikita started to like move closer to the kids. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what's going on? He's like, doesn't matter, man. He's like, I've, I've fucking, I've got to go. And he like Can runs he away. Me? He runs away. Five minutes later. We see this dude walk back past us <laughs> with a briefcase. Oh. And he's just walking through the crowd with this briefcase. And my missus goes, what do you think's in the briefcase? And I'm like, drugs. There's mm. fucking drugs or in cash. the briefcase. Or, cash. or maybe cash. Yeah, maybe. But he was fucking, I don't know where, because I lost track of him. I don't <laughs> know like, if he got away. <laughs> yeah, <that's> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him, boys. <laughs> briefcase is like so. I know, that's not. What, because well, awesome. he had a ba- inconspicuous. Like, he had a backpack as well. I'm like, get the shit out of the briefcase. Put, put it in, in the backpack. backpack. Not carry a fucking. Yeah, he carries a briefcase. The anymore. idea of standing out to not stand out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, that guy's got him. He's weird. Yeah. He's weird. He, oh, he's <laughs> just coming home from work. <laughs> yeah, he's a lawyer. Or yeah, he didn't fucking look like a lawyer. Yeah, that, those are the couple cops are sh- funny as fuck, especially at festivals, man. Mm. It's the best thing ever. Like, yeah. I will, I will point out an undercover cop in a heartbeat because they. <laughs> Because a lot, like, you'll get some personalities that try, that like, be, that are, like, they're, because they're police, mm. but, like, they're dressed up in, like, a lot of JJ's, yeah. sort of, like, party <laughs> outfit type stuff. Yeah. And, like, you're, like, how are you wearing, like, the most comfiest all-leather <laughs> sketches yeah. and a party outfit right now? Like, either you're, you, you're too old to be here, yeah. or, and, and they're, like, oh, I'm, like, how good's drugs, bro? Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, and then like we're in line waiting mm. to for my friend to leave the baggie on top of the soap, <laughs> so that next time I go in, I can do a line. Yeah. And it's just like this weird sort of atmosphere. Yeah. And but I I fully seen this situation. I was off my head on mushrooms mm. and I was sitting under one of the uh, the teepees at Big Pineapple Festival. Okay, on the Sunshine Coast and. I was like, sort of just like people watching as you do on mushrooms yeah. and just like looking at these guys and they're like gacked out of their mind. And this big, probably, he was probably like 6'3", mm. right? Just like Viking looking motherfucker. <laughs> Fully like police issued boots on <laughs> with jeans and like a tucked in shirt, yeah. right? Just like having a yarn with these two blokes just like laying down. And he's like stepped up just sort of like leaning on one foot, uh, leaning on one leg, and these guys are sort of, like, laying down. And uh, he offers them a note to do, like, the 
the guy who I knew was a cop, yeah, just like offers them a note to like do their drugs, and like he's doing like the fake laugh, like oh yeah, boys, <laughs> <laughs> hands him like a fifty, to, and they're like fuck yeah, roll it up, and they're like, and they're, and they're like oh you want something? He's like no nah, man, all good, all good, and they're like. <laughs> you can sort of oh, see yeah, the yeah. cogs like, start yeah, yeah. turning. What, what are we doing? What are and we they're like, do? yeah, cool, bro. And then, man, just, I, don't, I don't know what happened after that. I was just oh, like, man. I was like, you guys are idiots, yeah, dude. Sure. I could see this from a mile away. It always reminds me. Of imagine that. if he's just a dude. He's like, yeah, right. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> It always reminds me of that scene in like 21 Jump Street where he's like, you're literally still wearing your badge and he looks down. <laughs> yeah, he could have been. I don't know. That guy could have been. I think like that would be my move if I like it just because it'd be fun to wing people out. Oh, well, I'd pretend love, to be a cop. Yeah. I'd love to like <laughs> just lure them back to your car. Right. <laughs> this guy on Instagram that I follow and he... He has like this fake cop light in in his thing, and he goes to like these uh, these car meets in America, which are just the most wildest thing ever. They'll block off all four parts of the intersection, yeah, and it's like a massive fucking <laughs> intersection, and they'll just fucking rip these Hellcats or BMWs yeah, yeah. around whilst people are hanging out the windows and like slapping the car as it goes past or mm. whatever. And then he will like be like sitting there with all of, like car full of boys just like filming funny shit, mm. and then they will just turn the lights on. And start chasing these cars. <laughs> oh, and then they'll pull sick. into their house and they're like, fucking stay in the car, like with the lights on. And they're like, ha, you got pranked. And then fuck off. <laughs> like, so it's so illegal, yeah. but that'd be. Imagine if you like tried to, you did that, right? You and you're pranking an undercover cop and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking, I saw a, um, saw a post today. It was about the Fast and Furious 10s coming out. Mm. And it's supposed to be the last one. <laughs> fucking fuck off. It's supposed to be the last so one. So done with the day. So, so am I. And I was like, okay. You're going to watch it. I'm like, 10's the last one. I'm going to fucking <laughs> watch course. it. Then I've done the whole lot. But fucking they came out this week and they're like, we've split part 10 into a oh three my part. Oh God. <laughs> into, a three part. <laughs> into a three part movie. And I'm like, cards, oh, just end it. Like, three one and a half hour movies. Vin like, Diesel, just take your fucking money yeah, and leave 100%. us alone. Well, he is. Dude. He's taking his money. He's yeah, he's, money. yeah. He's a billionaire, dude. He is. But imagine if Paul Walker was still alive. I All right. Be. He probably would have let it go like nah, No nah, way nah. It's a fucking Avengers movie now <laughs> Yeah like, I don't want to watch a superhero I want to nah. watch Cars I'm, I'm so behind on like Avengers shit Well me too But I'm so behind on Fast and Furious I'm just like <laughs> Why did Ludacris go to space? Because <laughs> Right why? Why? Because it just makes Luda. sense Luda <laughs> Luda <laughs> um, Because he's got hose in mad. different area codes That's it <laughs> Yeah I haven't actually been driving late at night anymore really But when I used to drive back from the city hmm. It'd be like maybe 12 o'clock and it used to be all, always like every every time, four cars block up the highway, slow down, and then drive. Oh yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't. Mad cunt. Does it still happen? <laughs> I haven't thing? seen it driving back. Um, I, I definitely don't see that. I definitely see a lot of motorbikes. Oh, yeah. Especially on the Gold Coast Highway, man, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I like. I have so much anxiety that I'm gonna like get scared and swerve oh, yeah. and hit one of them, and then like all I see is just some, just tumbling yeah, like yeah. this, and then I'm like, "Shit, get out of the car!" And then I just look at this mangled dude. Yeah, like it's so. I think it's so stupid for that for them to like yeah. put that on us. Oh yeah, definitely. Like yeah. I don't mind. Like I'll <laughs> fucking egg you on to do a wheelie, or like <laughs> yeah. I'll fucking I'll I'll. I had like got it down to a science of like egging cunts on at light. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll rev my car a bit and then I'll take off really quick and like they might be in a GDR or mm. you know something fast. Yeah. And I know that they're just gonna fucking yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. But with motorbikes, it's just you're just playing a tough game. Yeah, definitely. Fucking when you're talking about like blocking off the highway, I remember I used to think that were the stupidest cunts ever. There was an industrial estate where I used to work. And there was one entrance in and out, and cops would go eat there every Friday and Saturday night and like race their cars. Right. And cops would just sit <laughs> at, at the, the entrance, ex- yeah. yeah, and just wait for them to come out and just like impound their cars. And I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Literally. Like, yeah, no. And all the, like, I was big into cars when I was young. I was going to every car meet yeah, ever. Yeah. And you would like, I would start walking back to my car, and it's mm. like some dude. Like, everyone's told not to rev your cars, do burnouts, there's cops everywhere. Yeah. But you egg a guy on. Yeah, 100%. Enough. Like, you twist a guy's arm enough. Like, you say, like, do it, pussy. Yeah, yeah. 
fuck all right. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> redline it. One peggers. Fuck yeah. Yeah. One peggers. That's look, if you're going to do a burnout, at least spin two wheels. Yeah, yeah. Troy, <laughs> Troy Candy would <laughs> bring it back to the start. It's so funny too. Cause like you'll see like one line yeah. snaking up a road and my brother's like, Oh, is that like a motorbike? I'm like, no, that's a <laughs> VT, V6 VT Commodore. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't have a lock diff. It's <laughs> that's so what that bad. is. So fucking bad. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, I reckon we call it there because I am I know it's time to call it when I bust for a piss. Fuck yeah. So nah, fucking, thanks for nah, having me out, uh, please. You. And uh, yeah, pre- appreciate you. <laughs> Do you know what we did? What? We broke the record. Didn't introduce the guest. Yeah. Yeah. For an hour and a half. For an hour and a half. It's good, eh? <laughs> it was fucking... We're just too into it to... Well, yeah. I'll just <laughs> I'll just shout myself out. Yeah. Uh, my name is Cody McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I go by the Instagram name of Cody Maverick. Um, if you ever seen Surfs Up, uh, you'll know why. Um, and because he's the penguin, he's the main penguin. I've in. always wondered that. Yeah. I thought that was your legit last name, and then I think I saw you like. It's a strong get tagged on if that is your last. Yeah, yeah. I thought I. Yeah. Like, I think I got, saw you get tagged on Facebook or something. Yeah, to McLaughlin. And yeah, like, McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. my fucking boring Scottish name. Uh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. But yeah, no, I'm Cody Maverick on the Instagram and uh, yeah, dancing, yeah. doing comedy, running. Doing go all give that him shit. A, go give him a follow, everyone. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Nah, See, appreciate you coming in, mate. Thank you very you. much. See you later. Let's see you.